Okay, so let me show you the uh, reverse drop shot rig. Always make sure your thread is going through the bail properly. Now the thing is people always call this drop shot, but I don't call it drop shot. It's pattern oster. That's the proper name for it because I'm not necessarily trying to drop shot. My goal in generally is to have one rig that I can rig a number of ways to do anything I wanted to do. This is a reverse drop shot rig. So we're going to put the hook on the bottom. Yes, on a drop shot rig. Let me show you. Reverse now, you got to remember reverse or inverted. I guess inverted is the proper term. These old eyes. Tie whatever your favorite knot is here. I'm going to go uh, Palmer. So what is a reverse or inverted drop shot rig or inverted pattern oster? It's when you put the hook on the bottom and the weight up top. You say, well, how's that different than the Carolina rig? Easy. But you can still drop the shot if you want. And it's a way to use drop shot for those of you who live in states that, do, that require a certain length of leader. Okay? Some states, if you use a drop shot rig, they'll fine you and send you to jail and stuff because they consider it to be snatching because that's just how effective the rig is, the drop shot, when the weight's at the bottom and the hook is up top. And I got a nymph here, nymph rig, but you can use whatever your favorite bait is, whatever your favorite lure, whatever you want. Put that on the bottom. And up top here, let's say your state says you have to have a minimum of a two-foot leader. Well, two feet up from that, whatever, that's about three feet there. You tie your dropper knot just like if it were a drop shot. One, two, three. Tighten that up. And now, if you had some split shots, you can just put your split shots on that dropper right there. Just like you saw me with the other video. And I'll try to remember to put a link to it. I don't have any more, I can't, I don't have any more split shots, so I'm going to, yeah, here we go. I am going to use one of my, um, triple threat swivels that I sell. I use these all the time on my hand lines and just about everything I do, but when I, if I don't want to use split shots, this is what I'm going to use because I can attach whatever weight I want. If you want purely drop shot, I would. all you got to do is just put as many split shots on that as you want. If you need more split shot than that, you just make a longer loop. And so once again, this, the shots will just pull off uh, if you get hung up onto something. My eyes are getting old, fellas. I just can't like that. Right? Maybe we need to call it Carolina drop shot. I don't... You can call these things anything you want. This material is tough. It's like built for tanks. Like literally military grade. This slinky weight material is... You close that. And now you have a nice little slinky weight. And that, isn't this crazy? I have a slinky weight on a reverse drop shot rig. Isn't that crazy? See, we get crazy here. I, I experiment with stuff all the time. So for those of you who want to use drop shot, but you can't because it's illegal, use a reverse drop shot rig. Now the drop shot is up top and you are totally legal in terms of having your leader, whatever length that your state in jurisdiction requires it works it'll cast just like a Carolina rig in terms of the action of the lure I much rather have a leader like this anyway you will get caught up more but if we have a fairly light hook like this that has some flotation to it like um, one of those foam type spiders that'll help it get up right up above that water I mean, up above the rocks and weeds and stuff. Experiment, fellas. That's what. And, and for transport, guess what? All I do is just take the weight off. And this this is a slinky weight material with simple house, uh, carpenter nails in it. And then I can just with the triple threat swivel, you can just, you know, bam, just like that. It stows like that very very well. Reverse drop shot and it also puts the hook on the bottom so you can use your hook keeper easier to stow All right, that's something to keep in mind as well Go and try that. I use this in drifting Sometimes I want to try something a little bit different sometimes that longer leader because of the different fluctuations of the water and things and the different waves and current that are down there at the bottom 
that longer leader can add a little bit more natural action to it. I actually prefer the longer leader because that's why I like the fly rod and my hand lines because I get that nice long leader on there and it gives me a far more uh, natural action. And I just catch more fish, but I, I generally like both rigs. And sometimes you might want to rig one like this, rig the other one like the traditional Paternoster or drop shot rig as you're drifting down to see which one's taking more fish. And then you change both to which one, whichever one you want. Um, it works. It works. Um, so go try that. And uh, I will talk to you fellas. I'll talk to you fellas later.